Hello all, Terhi Koskinen here. This is my first tutorial for Kaisercraft and oh boy, I am so excited about it. Uh, I have an op opportunity to use the Popper Shop collection for this tutorial. The collection has been released now in the beginning in the beginning of August and it's kind of masculine but then again it's really versatile to use in any any scrapbook works or any gods or any paper crafting works so uh, I chose to start with inks I have the island ink and petal pink ink here and I'm adding them to this glossy paper and as you can see when I'm spreading the inks, which are really good because they spread so well, uh, you can uh, slowly see how the glossy pattern comes comes through the through the uh, inked area. This is really nice, and you can use watercolors or any colors or mist with this paper. But I chose to use the inks because these inks are new for me, and I'm really in love with them. So I'm using this uh, colored piece of the glossy pa uh, paper as as a normal patterned paper on my work. Uh, I chose these patterned papers. Um, by them color and pattern. Um, all the papers are from the Barber Shop collection pack. Uh, I'm scrapbooking a picture of me and my puppy. <laughs> we are having a little moment on the picture, so I want to choose some really matching color colors. Uh, and this collection is quite perfect for it. Uh, I'm also using the clear stickers and I'm just adding the sticker to one of the patterned papers and then um, adding some some other papers uh, behind it to kind of get it to pop up. Uh, the background is quite simple. Um, I just used the same same ink pads I use for the glossy paper. Um, I'm adding it with these um, through this crunch template, and I'm using the the mm, grid part of the stencil. I don't know is that the right word, but anyway, uh, I'm adding few layers. First, the pink layer, and then the island layer. The island is. Uh, light turquoise I think uh, I really love it and I'm using this um, grid pattern because it's really simple and easy to see easy to watch so I want to use that it gives nice frame to my paper clusters which I'm doing two of them for this page so it kind of uh, repeats the pattern and repeats the pattern and repeats the pattern <laughs> so it's, it's really easy uh, then I thought about these nice letters which are also of course from Kaisercraft uh, because I wanted to use the black ink but I, was, I wasn't sure how to use the black ink I want something black because I have something black in the picture and uh, um, I, I I always want to use some kind of contrast to my pages. So I did the word unique and then I I repeat the word uh, on the background. Uh, you can't see the whole word in my uh, the, on, on the result of the layout, but you can see some use and goose and ease so you can really uh, guess that the word is unique and also because I'm later adding the unique word as a title so you can really again repeat 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 <laughs> the word uh, these letters are fun because they are this typewriter font and I do it on purpose to use the goo on the uh, big letter and the others are small and it was quite nice effect uh, I also used the glitter cardstock. I did some some um, frames with it, 
I use a big shot machine to use the uh, to do the frames. The die is quite old from my own stash, but uh, it goes really well together with this layout. It gives something bling for the layout, and that's one of the effects I want to have in all of my layouts. Something contrast, something bling, and something with. Uh, which is repeat, repeat, repeat. So this is kind of a <laughs> perfect example of my layouts and I hope you get some new ideas for your paper craft crafts with this layout. Anyway, uh, I'm using these uh, collect collectables pieces from the collection and using a lot of 3D foams uh, to adhere to pieces and uh, as I'm using also quite much of breath, I thought it would be nice to use some glue too because I want these, these uh, paper slices to hang on on the layout for a very long time and I think the 3D foam doesn't necessarily do that that well as I want it to be. So here's the picture. We we had this so cute moment. Anyway, uh, I'm finishing the layout by adding some sparklets uh, here and there, just to add a little bit more of that bling effect I like. And then I will use some Kaiser mist to add some mist drops here and there. Uh, the mist drops are important for me because uh, those little splatters here and there uh, makes the body look. It makes it even more unique than it's now. So I'm using this olive green and antiku gold and um, I'm not sure if this was the pink one or the sherry one but I will make it sure and you can read all of the products from the Kaiser Craft blog uh, and also from my blog. So. If you're interested, they are all there. So, thank you for watching and thank you for liking the video and we'll see you again soon. Thank you for watching and bye!